a trained journalist, history expert, and combat photographer in Central America. Cork has three decades of treasure hunting experience that began when he was 18. After Captain Kidd's treasure on an island off the west coast of Vietnam, it was an illegal covert operation. We got caught. When I paid the price, I ended up spending 11 months in a Vietnamese prison. It was one of the darkest moments of my life. I was held for 11 months, and seven of those I was in solitary confinement.
welcome to Five Acres and a Moose. It's my new channel, and as you can tell, it's been a few years since I was on Discovery Channel's Treasure Quest Snake Island, and I'm happy to say I survived a three-year lawsuit against Discovery Channel, and as a result, I get to keep my First Amendment rights, which means if you haven't picked up a copy of my whistleblower book, it's still available at Amazon. And yes, it tells everything, and to this day, Discovery Channel has never, and I mean never, refuted anything that happened as I described it in the book. So there you go. Truth is as truth told. But for now, I want to be sure that you enjoy this show, which again, five acres and a moose. It's what it's like to live rurally in a boreal forest in Alaska as a bush pilot, seaplane pilot, fisherman, hunter, subsistence hunter and fisherman, homesteader, farmer, and Basically, someone who has come to live in the country to regain lost skills that our grandparents and our ancestors knew how to do. And as a result, they had a more enriched life. So the programming that you'll be receiving here will be along the lines of experiential. So those are the ones where you can just, you know, crack open a beer, kick back in your easy chair on your couch. Let all the worries and stress of the, of the day and the week just float away. And... Come along with me and the people around me who live this lifestyle. And also, you'll be getting programming throughout the week, uh, intermittently, uh, basically instructional. Because I want to make sure that you learn the things that I've learned over the years. And I've learned from people like sourdoughs, you know, what we call sourdoughs up here. People who have been here for a while, a long time. And the way we're going to be delivering this is every Friday, I'll be uploading a show uh, those will be the longer shows, and most often they'll be the experiential. So you'll just be able to just kick back, relax, just come along and nice music, living in the country. What's what's it like to live rurally in the country? What's it like to be a subsistence hunter and fisherman in Alaska? What's it like to be a bush pilot, a seaplane pilot? You know, living the adventure, but it also, you know, why did I move to Alaska? Why nine years ago now? Why did I move to Alaska to re-experience what I had when I came back from Central America back in 1990? You know, to just get away from all that stress that I had uh, gone through for the previous uh, five years. And now, you know, the whole world is in this kind of stress. So, I hope you'll enjoy the shows as they come up. As I say, Fridays will be releases of new full episodes. And I'll be intermittently releasing uh, episodes there will be instructional, such as snowshoeing, fly fishing, anything related to fishing, hunting, subsistence hunting and fishing, flying, boating, diving. We're even going to have spear fishing. Did you know that you can spear fish salmon in Alaska? It's the only state that you can do that. And yes, so a variety of adventures, a variety of things uh, related to bushcraft, survival. What's it like to have a boreal bushcraft experience and having to deal with that? So... Be sure to click that button for subscribing and also be sure to review all the playlists as I start posting them because each one will be unique to either say fishing or survival or bushcraft or fly tying, reloading, hand loading, all these things that someone who lives in the country needs to be able to do because lots of times you can't go and buy things and you have to make them yourselves or you have to prepare them yourselves. So thank you for having spent the time watching this sizzle and be sure to check back. Well, actually, if you've subscribed, you'll get your notification. So be sure to subscribe right now and you'll get your notification of when the next show appears. Thank you. Mm -hmm.